So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is I want to show you, kind of going back into my last thinking. If all we're trying to do is undo what's happening to the variable, then if you guys look at these two problems, we can just undo that, right? But I'm going to get into an actually a, a, a nice method that's very helpful. So what is, what is one thing that's being, what is happening to this variable? What is one thing, Mario? It's being divided. It's also being added, right? But we can undo the division by multiplying by 2, right? So I would multiply by 2 on both sides. And then here, what is happening in this variable? It's being multiplied, but it's also being divided by 5, right? So I could multiply by 5 on both sides. Right? So you undo what's happening in each one of these. Now, what's nice about this is now those would divide out, and those would divide out, and I'm left with 5 times x plus 3 equals um, 2 times 4x. So what I want you guys to notice is when you apply that inverse operations, when you undo what you're dividing by on both sides of the um, proportion, you can now solve this. However, there's a, there's a trick that we call, which we call cross multiplying, which does the exact same thing. And you guys will probably like to go ahead and use this because it's very easy to remember. Notice this product is 5 times x plus 3, right? And we did that by undoing what is being divided by. Well, what we like to do with cross multiplying is, is select the cross products, which is the product of the extremes and the means, um, which we'll go over later. But you guys can see that here, that is 2 times 4x, which is really multiplying across the equation symbol. All right? So if you're not really understanding what I was talking about, like why am I undoing what is being divided by? What you can do is simply take the cross products and still set them equal to each other. Notice how the equation sign did not go anywhere. right? It's still, there's still an equation sign. So when you have a proportion, the cross products equal each other. Okay. So now, Oscar, what would be the next step that I have to do over here? Which property would I have to use? Do you remember one? Starts with a D, rhymes with distributive. Distributive property, right? So I'd have to apply this all the way there, right? So I have 5x plus 15 equals 8x. All right? Now, Samantha, do you know what, my, what would be my next goal in solving this equation? How would I get to solve for x now? I need to get the x's on the same side, right? So do you think we want to do the x, the left side or the right side? The left side? So you want to get all the x's on the left side? Or you want to get them on the right side? OK, it doesn't matter, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. So if she wants to get them on the right side, that means I'll subtract the 5x, because I need to subtract that whole term. So now it goes to 0. And I have 15 equals 3x. Now, Camilla, what's my next step that I need to do? Isolate the variable. So since my variable is being multiplied by 3, I now need to divide by 3. And therefore, x equals 5. Oh, that's bad. Any questions? OK. So.